and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hello everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm gonna be going over what you need to be doing in Madden 20 right now. So as you guys do know, I like to keep this up. I like to keep this video going on for you guys, updating throughout the weeks whenever things come out that I think that you guys need to be reminded of. And make sure that you don't miss out on because obviously as the week goes on, we do have the ability to miss key things such as weekly solo challenges that we need to be playing, such as like Mutt 10 and stuff. So I'm gonna be going all the, all over all the things you wanna be staying on top of this week so you don't miss out on anything, guys. But trust me, these two that I'm gonna say specifically are important. I'm gonna give you guys a few little tips and pointers that I think you should be staying on top of specifically this week to maximize what you're able to get this week. And I'm personally doing it myself. I was just doing it and I had to stop to make some videos real quick and I'll go back on the ground right afterwards, guys. But before we get into this video, boys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, boys. We're so close to 10K. We're a little over, under 400 subscribers away from 10K. I'm super hyped. I cannot believe we're almost there, boys. I think within a few days, we'll probably be hitting that. So thank you guys for all the support. Let's push me over the top, boys. And if you haven't already, make sure to go down below, turn on that noti bell to be notified of my post time sensitive videos just like this that could greatly help you guys with Madden information. And if you haven't already also, hit that like button, boys. Get this video to 250 likes. If you're loyal, you're a fan, make sure to drop a like. It really helps the channel, guys. Now let's get into this. So, first things first, we have the house rules. You guys should know about, about that already. I am posting a video going over the easiest way to beat these house rules, so hopefully that can help you guys when it does release. I don't know if you'll be seeing this after or before, but either or, they'll both help you guys out. So the house rules is the point yoink. Obviously, I went over this in yesterday's video, so I don't have to go over it too much. It is a very annoying house rule. I do not, I'm not a fan of it. I do not like the way you need to play it. I do not like the fact that they had glitches in it again that made it very unplayable. And quite honestly, I'm happy we get the rewards, but 35 wins, come on. That's a little ridiculous, especially with how it's not as easy as you guys would think to play it. It's a little ridiculous how difficult it can be and how time consuming it can be. And I really just don't enjoy the whole concept this week. Although I do like the rewards, but guys, it's not the only reward we're getting. So if you guys didn't already know, in challenges today, we will be receiving the final Mutt Hero solo challenge sequence, which should put us over the top. So currently at the moment, let's see, we're able to get about 25 stars per, right? Is that all of them? No, so that's five. So it's 25, 25, so that's 50, 75, 100, 125, plus the first one. We have 130 stars. We need a grand total of 140 for the final fantasy pack for the Nat Hero, the Nat Mutt Hero fantasy pack, which we also get that. And we also get the Mutt Heroes fantasy pack from the house rule. So that is two free Mud Hero cards that we're able to obtain. And I believe today is the day that EA announced they will be releasing the final sequence to acquire a free player. So guys, if you haven't already, I recommend you start getting all these solo challenges done and get it as quickly as possible. In my opinion, get all the players you can out of Mud Heroes for free and then take your ball and go home and dip on the promo. There's not much left after that in my opinion. I'm just gonna take my free players I'm gonna go keep building up my coin stack and then start preparing for most feared most feared should be dropping within the next week and a half or two I'd imagine towards the I said sometimes we're mid-october we're almost there So I go around like between October 19th and October 25th is sometime where it probably will drop Maybe even a little earlier than that depending on how close you want to put it to mud heroes But that is why you guys want to get this done now make sure you have everything done before most feared starts and you're ready to rock and roll but my reasoning behind why I think you should just dip on the promo, which I made very clear. A lot of these players are 90 overalls and 91 overalls. Those don't, those aren't above the league median in this game of overall players. So like, yeah, 90, 91s are, they're cool cards, but like they already had 90 to 91 legends, 92, 93 mud, hit, mud 10 players. So like, it's nothing out of the ordinary. So pretty much they just dropped new cards that we already had. Most fear is going to take the game to the next level and start increasing the overalls and all these type of cards that can do certain things speed increases that is why i'm waiting more for that promo that's going to really change your team this one kind of just you can add by preference to your team but you guys want to be getting these solo challenges done i don't think they take too long some of them are kind of difficult some of them are a little tedious and time consuming but for the most part you can get these done pretty easily and the shady singles is a riddle type solo sequence so i didn't ever make a video on it but plenty of youtubers already have so go look that up on youtube you'll find that out pretty easily next you guys want to be doing is team of the week solo challenges so obviously tuesday was yesterday so we have a new sequence for week five remember guys you want to be playing these every week now all you really need is the two star tier one one that gets you the team of the year token these tokens are used towards uh by the after week 17 around then for the team of the year promo so if you guys have all your tokens saved up from the year you will be getting a free team of the year player and it's typically optionable last year i did get tyree kill which went for over a million coins so it definitely did help me all you guys need is two stars so pretty much you can click on any you can play it on easy and then it's completing a bonus objective like rush four more times or if you don't want to do any bonus objectives you just put it on medium and shoe clock it's really not that difficult at all all you need is to score two or more rushing touchdowns 
these are really easy things to be doing and you guys want to miss out on any obviously team of the week does have the potential for the end of the year where they end up giving us some extra make right ones or like if we missed a few weeks we could make up for it and get a few tokens but i would not bank on that because ea might not be that nice this year such as with my 10 guys i recommend you start doing those too because we're towards the end the last thing you want to be is like me and we're almost towards the end and you can't get them you if you got imagine completing eight weeks of this and week nine or ten you forget to do your solos remember to always be playing this this friday they will drop a new sequence from a 10 make sure that you're playing that guys and next like i said with most of you are coming soon you guys kind of want to be on top of your team and where you're looking so for me personally i tested out some mud heroes for the most part i'm going to start selling off the ones i don't really want so personally like i tried with david johnson he was all right but i sold them off i will be getting saquon and jalen ramsey and then I will be probably selling Greg Olson and Mitch Morris. Greg Olson's great and all, but he's nothing special out of the ordinary. David DeCastro is really good. I'll be keeping him. And then Mitch Morse is just a normal center. I'd rather just go with Kevin Mawai away from Most Feared. So those are just some of the cards that I think I'll be selling off. So for you guys as a Mud Heroes, for the Mud Heroes promo, like I said, these cards are all preference. If they're not a part of your theme team or something special, just get rid of them. Trust me, you're better off waiting for Most Feared cards because right now you're paying two to 300K for these cards, depending on which ones you get. And they're good. They fit into your team at this point. But once most fear comes out, they're going to be back. They're going to be in the back end again. And most of is not like a month away. It's like a week or two away. So I'd recommend keep what you want. Like I want the Castro. I don't think most fear is going to bring about that many crazy linemen. Much better than the Castro. But as far as like tight ends and stuff, I'd much rather wait for most fear. Maybe a Jimmy Graham. Maybe some other crazy cards they end up releasing. That is why I'm waiting because I feel like that's the first real big promo. Like Mud Heroes is our first real promo, but most fears are our first big seasonal promo. Seasonal promos are always the best. So I recommend you guys start getting your team prepped for that. You don't want to really go into most feared with like eight Mud Hero cards because then you're going to probably want to sell them when you get the new cards and lose a lot of coins. So I'll probably build my coin stack up to about 2 million coins and then wait for most feared. Also, make sure you're getting your trophies up, boys. When you're playing house rules, you do get trophy rewards. So make sure you're getting your trophies up because to compete right now, you're really going to start, you're going to want to start getting those John Madden collectibles so go over to the store if you guys know what i'm talking about you really want to start collecting these collectibles i already have two of them you're going to need more than that though there's john madden coach right here there's still two collectibles left to be gained from this series these collectibles greatly increase your team people have been asking how's my lamar jackson higher overall it's because i have john madden passing on him and i also have some uh, team chems on him you really do need those they greatly improve your team they make a team that's like an 89 overall feel like a 90 a team that feels like a 90 91 if you have them all the way up it can make your team feel like two overalls higher trust me it is a huge addition to pick up these john madden coaches the coach itself only costs 10 trophies when the collectibles cost a thousand so for me personally the first a thousand is very easy to get but the first week of weekend league and the first bit of trophies you can get from leveling up and objectives and everything it gets it's pretty easy when the series first starts but after that getting the next a thousand or second set uh, third set of a thousand becomes much more of a grind than it initially felt like so that's why the first collectible is gonna be easy the second one's gonna be kind of a drag and the third one if you really grind this season you could potentially get it but the uh, best way to get that probably is your <clears throat> objective wins which is under serious progression multiplayer wins that's kind of how i get a lot of my objectives done how i get a lot of my trophies done so 120 120 120 120 that's 240 360 480 and then five uh 600 so you get about 600 total just from 75 to 200 games so i recommend you guys get that done that's almost one collectible if you guys have a little bit sis, uh, sitting there already but that pretty much wraps up my pretty much everything i need to tell you guys because besides like i said mud heroes ending soon so you guys definitely want to be on top of that don't be the guy that buys eight mud heroes and then in a week or two forgets that you have them on your team and then like oh my god they dropped a new tight end and a new running back in this i want all these cards oh let me go sell my mud heroes for uh 20 less than i bought them for oh wait i just lost 300 to 400k in reduction and lost value that could have been another most feared card i'm hoping they do end up doing a most feared boss collection like they did last year where I can get a bunch of nap players and a free bite of boss and just sell the boss off. You guys know all about that when the time comes. I hope they do something like that. That's one of my favorite things that they usually include in seasonal promos. That's kind of what I'm hoping for at this point. But if they do not release that, it is fine, guys. I still recommend you wait for Most Feared. I know they're going to drop some really good cards. They can't. They're not going to botch Most Feared. Mud Heroes was okay, like I said. We do get the free two cards, which really made it awesome. We did get some pretty good cards, which was cool. But I think like... I think like 25 out of the 32 cards aren't even usable in my opinion unless you have the right team for them so that was kind of a botch, a botch on that part and a lot of them weren't even the guys you were probably expecting but that's okay i did not enjoy the fact that we got an Aaron down a limited time because that means a lot of us can't get him until series three which i'll be waiting for his redux card to actually acquire him but guys that is about it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy i hope this helps you guys don't forget play your team of the week solos play your month 10 solos Make sure you get your Mud Heroes done. You have 72 hours. So from this point, you are left with about 48 hours. So make sure you're getting that done. At least get like 10 to 12 done a day so you can be done by the end of Thursday. It does end Friday morning, so try to get it done by then. I like to play a lot in the morning, so I'll probably be finishing it Friday morning or Thursday morning, depending on how I schedule myself. 
and uh, make sure you're keeping on top of your team. You're not holding mud heroes just because you're lazy to sell them. Make sure you're doing the right thing, boys. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, boys. But let's get let's push the family over the top to 10k. Make sure to turn on that notification bell. Comment down below what you guys are currently doing in Madden and what your goal is for this week. And if you haven't already, make sure to drop a like on the video, boys. Let's get this video to 250 likes. If you're a fan of the channel, always drop a like. It helps the channel tremendously. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.